Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new Tower Defense Simulator video. It is almost December and you know what that means. The snow, Santa and presents. Well you would be thinking wrong because it is still Halloween. Yeah so for some reason it is still Halloween in Tower Defense Simulator so yeah that's that's a little bit weird, but I'm not going to question it. And that means that today we are going to be playing the Halloween event. Now I want to give a small disclaimer. I already beat the Halloween event using the strategy, you know, that PDF file that's been going around the Discord. Which basically, if you follow that with four friends, you will always beat the event. But today... I want to play this event with random players and see how far we can get. Without further ado, let's jump in a public server, join some randoms and see if we can beat the Halloween event. Probably not. Yeah, we found our people! Let's go! Trick or treat town! Woo! So I did change my team around a little bit, like of course I removed the farm because farms don't work and I took a minigunner and a ranger with me. Uh, the prices are still glitched unfortunately, but uh, I think I'm gonna set up why is he placing a farm. Anyway, I'm gonna start off with a military base just to defend early wave. I probably wanna have two, but I know I cannot hit the ghost. So I probably want like a minigunner here and he plays another farm. Bruh. Okay, here come our cars and the undead are actually pretty strong. So they will actually need two cars just to kill one zombie. That's actually quite a lot of damage, but we got also got a crook boss. So that's gonna help us a tiny, tiny bit. But it's still gonna be really scary to see like if we can actually beat this. So I upgraded one of my military bases to now do 60 damage. Just in the hope that we will at least one shot like one of the zombies. Because, oh boy, farms don't work in this mode. Oh really? Oh really? Wow, you really did your homework, did you? Oh my god, these mummies take out like one level 3 car. Bruh. Oh boy, this is gonna be a while to get rid of. I really need to get the minigunner. But it's just, we get so little money right now. Like, oh my god. Like, this is gonna end up horrible. Like, we need at least, like, four cars to kill one mummy. Like, bruh. Of course, we got the crook boss, so he is also gonna shoot some of the mummies. But still, that's a lot of damage just for all these mummies. Okay, the crook boss is actually, like, weakening them quite a bit. So that's really nice for the cars, because they can just run them all over. So you know what, crook boss? You're actually doing really good. You're actually doing really good. I'm actually really excited to see what else we're gonna place. Because like, Shouting Master has been grinding on the cars, dude. He has been grinding on the cars. And the other two people haven't like really spawned anything yet. So I really wonder what they are gonna save up for. Also, a 100 HP like skeleton. Damn, dude. Oh, this might actually turn out scary too, because like these can actually kill us if we're careful. Uh-oh. Okay, so he's down. And okay, so at least we will survive, but not very comfortable. Not, oh boy. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Maybe it counts first. No. Okay, ouch. That's a lot of damage, but we survived. But the ghosts are also here. Uh, can I place a minigun or do I have enough money? Yes! No, he doesn't have hidden detection yet! We died. Wah, wah. 14 candies. Everybody knows, second time is the charm. Okay, if somebody places a farm again, I'm going to freak out. Please don't place a farm. I hope somebody else is gonna place the military bases. Just so I can save up for the minigun right away. Because I feel like we need to have the minigunner set up before the ghosts. So I really hope some of you have military bases. Because else I'm not going to trust it. Okay, so we got a cowboy. That's pretty cool. We got two people that are AFK for now. We're just still loading in. 
So that's a problem, like a real big problem. And I might actually have to place down a military base, even though I really don't want to. Ah, there you go, there you go. He's placing down military bases. We might still actually win. This guy's still AFK. Why are you queuing up? No ID, but okay, nice. Nice, 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 nice. This is gonna go really well. All the cars are gonna hit them. We're gonna take a little bit of damage, unfortunately. But that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, the cowboys are really doing in work right now. I feel a little bit bad for not placing anything. But I just really know we need the minigunner for the ghosts. So I am just gonna save up for that. And I really hope he can manage with his military bases. I really hope he can manage that. I think he will. Because they're all a little bit damaged from the cowboys. So, I'm just gonna go with that. And if we fail, we fail. But I really feel like if we set our minds to it, we can win this. Three more cash. One more cash. Let's go. Mini gunner time. Yes, here we go. Take some of the damage. Let's go, boys. Let's kill the mummies. And now let's level you up so you can hit the ghosts. Let's go. Oh, we also got a golden minigunner. Let's go. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Now we just need to trust the cards a little bit. And everything will be fine. Nice. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. It's all gonna work out fine. He's gonna kill that. We need five more cards, I think. So I get one card for that mummy. Then we need another one for that mummy, and we will all be fine. We will all be fine. Okay, the skeletons come. Really nice. And I feel like I should be enough soon to get the hidden detection. And then we kill all the ghosts. And then we survive, and we're really, really happy. Ooh, we got the medic to save our HP. And we can finally hit the ghost! Yes! I don't think it's enough damage, but at least, like, we can survive. And that's what's important. Let's go. We need to kill at least two of them. And we did. So we will survive at least. Yes, dude. Yes. Nice. I'm also going to be placing down some military bases. Just to get some more damage off. Because I'm getting a little bit nervous about all the things that's coming up. So I just want to weaken them so we can survive. So I placed some military bases over here. Just to do some more damage. I'm going to be setting up the first commander for the call of arms. So there we go. And that way all my minigunners are in range. So they're getting a little bit boost right now. Which is really nice. So we're going to upgrade the commander a bit. Uh, until we get calls of arms. And then we can like go through the stages really quickly. Which is really nice. That's a very big guy. But luckily we got calls to arms in time, so we can actually kill him. So yeah, thank you so much, Commander. And well, he will die, and if it's not by the minigunner, it's because of the car. Oh boy, it's the witches, and the minigunners aren't hitting them. Uh-oh, will she die though? Yes, she will. Okay, so the planes take care of the witches. Really cool. As you can see, I am uh, really starting to... Set up the call of arms chain so we can get an unlimited call of arms, which is really important in this stage. I think you need around four of them, so yeah, that's all gonna be fine. So I set up four mate commanders, which basically means we have unlimited calls of arms. So whenever this one is done, I can use it on this one again, then on this one, then on this one. Really effective on this mate, and well, all the giant reanimators are getting destroyed because of this. The only problem when you do something like this is that you really gotta trust your team to put down damage in range. But so far they have been doing that, so I can just keep spamming Call of Arms. Oh boy, these are running! These are running, dude! Uh oh! Uh, stop them! Oh no, oh no, oh no! Ah! You know what? At least we had fun. So yeah guys, that was my experience with the Halloween event. It's actually quite fun, but it's getting a little bit boring to like keep getting a document every time and do exactly, you know, what the document says. So I just sometimes like to play with randoms, but we mostly lose. Anyway guys, if you like this video and want to see more, please hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!